is Mr. Fluffy Pants here, and today I got another top 10 video. Today I'm going to do my top 10 movies of 2018, and man, this list was hard to just pick out 10 movies i seen this year. Um, I've seen over 20 movies, and I enjoyed a majority of them, um, very much so at least, and it was hard just picking 10 to put in the top 10, and it was even harder just to rank them, because I love all these movies, but I'm um, not going to be doing a top 10 worst of 2018, because I don't see enough movies to see like uh, worst stuff, but uh, there's only really one movie that I saw this year I didn't like, but let's go and get started with the list with number 10. Okay, guys, at number 10, I got my favorite comedy of the year, Tag, and this movie's just enjoyable from beginning to end, and there's some funny parts, and I just love all the characters in the movie, their interactions with each other, their chemistry, it's just so great, and the chase sequences are actually pretty good in it, and um, it's just funny watching the extremes they go to, and I will say, that hospital scene at the end, if you watch it, you know what I'm talking about, is awesome. Okay, and then in ninth place, we got Ready Player One, and I was not expecting to see this film at all, had no expectations, man, did I love this film whenever I saw it, um, there's just so many great little Easter eggs and all, and I love, like, the whole story aspect of them solving these clues to find an Easter egg, and, like, there's some really amazing sequences, like the Shining sequence, and then the you know, the big battle sequence on the planet Doom, and I love the part where it just starts playing Twister Sisters, um, we're not gonna take it, um, that's my favorite part of the movie, but if you have not seen this, definitely check this out if you're a video game lover or just pop culture lover. At number eight, we got Spider-Man Into the Spider-Verse. Same thing with the last movie. Was not really expecting to see this or expect anything going into it. But man, was this such a great movie. Was not expecting it at all. And um, it's just so great. Like the action sequences to the animation to just the whole story. Which uh, this is one of the few movies that almost make me cry. To tell you the truth. I mean, it's just so, so good. Who knew Sony had this in them? In seventh place, we have Aquaman, and this is the newest movie I watched, so it might go up or down the more time I have to think about it, but overall, though, this movie is the best DC movie, in my opinion, at least. It's just a fun, globe-trotting adventure with some great action scenes and great cinematography, and um, it's just a great DC movie overall. They definitely redeemed themselves, in my opinion. Okay, guys, in sixth place is a movie I was not really expecting me to like this much, but it's Venom. This is probably one of the most rewatchable movies. Um, I got the Blu-ray for Christmas and already watched it four times. I absolutely love re-watching this movie. It's just fun from start to finish. The action scenes ain't the best, but, I mean, they're pretty good. Tom Hardy in it, though, is excellent, and I absolutely love his dynamic with Venom. But, I mean, overall, though, I think this is probably, like, it's definitely my, one of my favorite Sony Spider-Man movies. Okay, guys, in fifth place, we got Avengers Infinity War. Some people might be mad I got it this low on the list, but this is still an excellently crafted film. Um, it's just that I don't enjoy it as some of the other films on this list, which, I mean, these are films I enjoy, like, more entertainment value for me, but this movie is just great from start to finish. I don't know how they pulled it off, but m one of my favorite MCU moments ever is in this movie is whenever Thor arrives in Wakanda, and who can forget that ending? Um, hopefully, Endgame can live up to the hype. Okay, guys, and then in fourth place, we got Deadpool 2, and this is a sequel that I love way more than the first one, but the, don't get me wrong, the first one's still good and all, but this one just outdid itself, I think, at least. It's funny from start to finish, a lot more raunchier jokes, not as, like, bloody and gory, though, but, I mean, this movie's just excellent, like, all the action scenes and all that's just, and it's also got a lot of heart, too, like, with the Vanessa death scene, sorry, but, I mean, it's only been out since May, but... This movie is just, mm, I love it so much. I do actually like the theatrical cut better than the um, director's cut or super duper cut or whatever they're calling it. And I, the only movie I did not really get to see this year that I kind of wanted to was the PG-13 cut of this movie, which was Once Upon a Deadpool. But hopefully I'll see that. It probably wouldn't make the list though, but Deadpool 2 theatrical cut definitely makes the list. In third place, we got Ant-Man and the Wasp, uh, which is, again, another sequel that came out this year that I, I actually love this one way more than the first one. This one's more fun, hypergetic, just so much better chemistry in it, just so much more well-crafted and flows a lot better, but, I mean... I, it's definitely my top five MCU movies, and that's saying a lot. Like, I absolutely adore this film. Like, the chase scene in San Francisco through the streets and all. Oh, my God. That's such a good scene. Um, 
and like the music in this movie like the score is great but I mean if you haven't seen it please watch it like this is one of my favorite MCU movies and then a lot of my family agrees with me and for runner up of course how could this not be on the list as me being a huge Transformers movie fan we got Bumblebee and a lot of people agree with me this is one of the best Transformers movie I probably rank it my second favorite but I mean this movie is just great from start to finish I say that a lot though but the two Decepticons in this movie is great. The first five minutes on Cybertron. Probably my favorite, like, couple minutes of beginning of a movie ever. Like, it's just so great seeing the original designs and all. Even though I'm a fan of the Bayformers, this movie still deserves second place on my list. Okay, guys, and then for a few runner-ups that did not quite make the list, but I still thought was pretty good, was Black Panther, Solo, A Star Wars Story, Goosebumps 2, Wreck-It Ralph 2, Creed 2, and The Predator. The Predator, a lot of people disagree with me on that, but I actually think that's a pretty good Predator movie, but those are my runner-ups, so let's go and get to the number one spot. And then for first place, we got Halloween 2018. A lot of people probably don't have this as number one on their list, but you know what? I do, and that's why I like to put my opinion out there, because I have very different opinions, because a lot of people said this was an okay Halloween movie to, you know, pretty good one. Um, but I actually love this movie. I think it's the best one since the original one from 78. Um, it's, I might be a little biased because this is the first Halloween movie I've seen in theaters since I watched, I became a fan of Halloween about two years ago, but I mean, I don't know. There's just something about this movie. I absolutely love the kills are great. And then I actually, in a hot take, I actually do like the ending with the, him in the, you know, cell or whatever with the fire. I actually really like that. And the score by John Carpenter is superb. It is just so, so good. And um, the mask in this movie is also the, you know, great. And I definitely think this is the best Halloween movie since the original from 1978. Anyway, guys, that was my top 10 movies of 2018. Let me know if I left anything out or that I should have seen. But um, let me know your top 10 down below. Check me out Twitter at FluffyPantsRev. Like and subscribe for more. Check out some other videos, and I'll see you guys later. Bye.